10 minutes ago, I just got the new Miles Davis Craft One Step. First thing I noticed is, look at this box. The last box that these were shipped in was absolutely atrocious. And almost everybody's One Step came with some sort of quarter damage. But that looks to be wildly improved on this particular shipment. Significantly better box, much heavier duty cardboard. Ooh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Corner reinforcements. Fantastic. Very nice. Perfect box for this product. All right. Unlike the other craft one steps, they up the count on these two 5,000. I got number 1,480. But uh, yeah, let's check it out. So, you know, sound wise, uh, you know, these last two sounded really good. I'm a fan of them. I mean, it's unfortunate that they're doing so far titles that are already in print. Well, except for the Yosef Latif, but they're doing titles that are more or less in print in the analog production series stuff. Interesting. Kind of a little bit of a pull tab in there. It's sewn in, but it's sewn in in a way that is tangled. I'll have to figure out how to untangle that later. But let's check it out. And unlike the Analog Productions tiles, they use the big, thick, nice stout and tip on jacket. But my biggest pet peeve with these is they are not glossy covered. I'll crack that open in a minute. These have so far all been cut by Bernie Grunman from the original Analog Master Tape as photographed here. Looks like there's a little essay in there as well. My hope for this series is there's a lot of stuff in the fantasy contemporary Riverside catalog. My hope for this series is we see not only some rock titles like Creedence Clearwater Revival, but we see them dig into the Riverside catalog a little more. You know, they're already starting to do some contemporary releases. Let's see some stuff on Riverside. Put it in these uh, one step configurations. The well, one steps are all made on VR 900 vinyl, which is the highest grade vinyl on the market today. It is semi-transparent. I don't know how well that shows up on camera. But these are absolutely fantastic as far as quietness goes. You're not going to find quieter sounding vinyl in 2022. But yeah, I'm going to give this a little bit of a listen to later on tonight. Uh... You know, there's some dust and dirt on there, but that's going to have to be cleaned off. One thing that you'll notice with these VR900 records is the dust and the dirt looks a little bit more prevalent because you're actually seeing it on both sides of the record simultaneously because it is transparent. But no marks, no scratches, nice and flat, no no-fill issues. Yeah, this is going to be a fun listen to later tonight. All right, guys, check us out online at theingroove.com. Until next time.